drop bears, AMAs, and Valentine's Day. Oh my. This is the MetaZoo Discord News Update for February 13th, 2022. Welcome to Stormblast Games. Welcome back. Let's get going with the MetaZoo Discord update. So back on the 5th, uh, Mike Waddell posted, Fun little piece of history. I was going to hand these out at some point to have a way to give back to the community. Then things blew up and things like the MetaZoo NFT tokens became possible and a different avenue to do things like this. I just love looking back at this stuff. So these were interesting. These are essentially membership certificates, so almost like a uh, common stock, essentially, uh, that, they, that he was actually thinking about doing as a in, in the, out of the state of Wyoming, interestingly, as part of giving back to the community. This is obviously back in 2020, looking at the, the copyright and the dates here. And it's just really, really interesting to uh, think of that possibility. and. Obviously, there's here you have these common, uh, these are more the gold to one out of 2,500, uh, 0.001%. I'm assuming these are more like the bronze level. Here you have 0 0.01 or one of 250, which is really interesting. And over here, the gold, which is 0.1% of 200. So, it's really interesting that these could have been a possibility. Obviously, the company has gone a very different path from when this was initially conceived, but it's quite the interesting and kind of fun to think of what if, right? So February 6th, that's the day the Valentines came out on their website, and they sold out pretty quickly. I was able, we were able to get four. So we will be opening those tomorrow on uh, Monday on the 14th. But here he posted, for those who own a MetaZoo NFT token and want to purchase our Valentine's Chibi set, you need to connect your wallet and access the product only at the valentines.metazoogames.com. Obviously, this is no longer valid. But just hopefully if you have an NFT, you were able to be a part of that. And then also on the 6th, looking into solving the technical difficulties, I'm assuming that NFT sale didn't go as smoothly as they wanted. Because I keep getting messages about, let me just confirm, yes, you can get blue inks from the Walmart boxes. Very interesting. I'd be interested to know how often those were actually available or what the what the ratio is. You know, is, it, is there only like one blue ink out of everything they sent to Walmart? Are there two, four... I mean, you'd be really, really interested to know. And which, by the way, we did just recently look at our Walmarts here in Arkansas. We still have not seen any of the MetaZoos. If someone may have already bought them, we haven't even seen them on the shelves yet. So uh, obviously, depending on where you're at, your luck may vary. I have seen more and more people uh, in some of the uh, f Facebook groups actually posting pictures of them actually having found them at Walmart. The common price seems to be $14.99, which gets you three packs and a promo inside. So hopefully, let me know if you guys have, have, have found those, if what they look like inside, because as soon as we get some, I will make a video of opening them and really going over uh, the, the card quality, because I don't know... I actually do have a video planned, and I know I'm like connecting a whole bunch of different things at once here. I do have a video plan about card quality in openings from MetaZoo because I was just putting up a whole bunch of Nightfall that we had opened recently on camera and noticing how terrible the card quality was coming from the printers uh, and the cutters was just horrendous and actually honestly made me really angry. So I'm going to be, we're getting our second edition finally on scheduled for Tuesday. So we'll see. And so I'm going to be opening probably a little bit of the different sets. I have a little bit of first edition left, have a little, a little bit of nightfall left in the second editions, and try and do a code, uh, a card quality compa comparison, and see just if if the card quality is getting better, because 
when we as not just players but collectors so that part of us who are also collectors want good looking cards for those of us who want to sell cards we need the cards to not be fresh from the pack heavy played or even damaged it's really not a good luck for metazoo to have card quality issues of this sort and i've not heard much discussion about it and so i don't know if maybe our experiences are unique or not so i need to do a video we're going to go back and i'm going to put together a video where we go into our old videos and actually take a better look at the card quality because i don't know how much we were paying attention to that at the time so much as just you know gawking over the art but so just so you know that video is coming because i uh, it is something that has really concerned me, and I want to share those concerns with you, especially if you may have also found these type of card quality issues as well. And if you have, please email us at youtube at stormblessgames.com so that we can maybe include your comments as well um, for this upcoming video. Anyway, back to Discord. Here we have a bunch of contests. Looks like the Moto Tray, Cheeto TCG, or Cheeto, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, and Aslook here, all won decks and promo boxes. Congratulations. So back on the six as well, join us today for the third episode of MZU, which was hosted by Emilio Emilio Nostalgia Collectible and Speed Lemon, bringing sneak peeks to, of the Orlando Collecticon format. So that was, so it looks like every Sunday now on Twitch is MZU, which is a MetaZoo uh, stream of some kind. I haven't actually checked it out yet. So maybe, you know, it's at twitch.tv slash MetaZoo Games. So I would recommend going and checking it out and see what's up. The Valentine's NFT token pre-order is working again. That was also back on the 6th. So glad they got that resolved. Here we have giveaways for the Valentine's Day boxes. Naraza, Slush, Digital Jess, The Headless Horseman, and Mel of 13, all won. Congratulations. Valentine's giveaway. So here, uh, Mike saying, my brother just sent this to me asking what it was. He found it in storage at my parents' place when I asked him to scrounge up all MetaZoo stuff he could find. This is the first Mothman I pulled from the very first Kickstarter box ever opened. Crazy to think it was only 11 months ago. This next year will be special. Thank you for being here with us on the journey. So this is the very first Mothman ever pulled. And you can see the Kickstarter logo right here. So interesting piece of history. I actually have a picture of the very first one. Oh, by the way, I totally made all those equity things. My brother found them as well. Sorry, last ping for the night. So, oh, here they are. 52. Oh, look at the seal on that. Interesting. <laughs> so that's... Those um, obviously will be very closely held because that uh, is um, could be dangerous in the wrong hands, right? I don't know that they'd be valid anymore, but still. <laughs> so... Medizzi Valentine's Day promo boxes were live on the 7th at 9 Eastern. So play.medizzi.games.com slash home. If you're an LGS looking to get a head start on sanctioned play, be sure to sign up here and start making events. Announcement for the $250,000 cash prize tournament comes out next week, which is now this coming week. So very... Very interested to, to find out about that. That's the winners of the Valentine's Day box giveaway we mentioned before. Medizoo Hour, um, which we've we've heard you guys, and yes, we will start covering the Medizoo Hours. Uh, we we did get some responses, and you guys actually do want us to cover that. So Sheena and I will figure out a way to do that. What the format of that will take, so I'm not 100 percent certain yet, and we'll start seeing those videos here really soon. Thank you for the feedback. I appreciate it. Hmm, where should I send these cosmic sample cards? Let's get in here really close. Here we have UFO Crawfordville Mon Crawfordsville Monster, 
Old Saybrook Blockheads. Van Meter Visitor. Fresno Nightcrawlers and Flatwoods Monster. And these, the black border ones, I believe, are the testers. So those are just awesome to look at. I love the, the, the full foil on them all, too. Uh, I would love to have some of these black border cards. Those are just so cool to look at. So I know it's late, but I just got out of a meeting with the joint studios that will be making our TV show and video game. Needless to say, it's going to be epic. So what do you think? How are you excited about a MetaZoo-themed TV show or video game? And do you think it will be done better or worse than the forthcoming Netflix Magic the Gathering TV show? Uh, what about a video game? Do you think it should be like an action-adventure, more of a card version, like with like Magic Arena or Pokemon Live, which I guess isn't out yet still but you know the type of game i'm talking about even like some of the Yu-Gi-Oh ones the card fight ones where essentially you're just playing the game like on your phone on the uh computer on the um, even like the old duels of the planeswalkers on like your xbox and playstation do you want one of those type of games or do you want like an action adventure game or an rpg of some sort what about a tv show should it be a drama should it be a cartoon, live action. What 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 were you, what are you after, or what would you expect to see on that? And this is just for our own fun. I have no idea what their actual plans are outside of what we read here, but it would be really fun to see a lot of those different types of ideas and what people might honestly be really interested in. And I'd I'd love to hear from you guys. Special chat for Mendes NFT token holders tomorrow. End of day. And that was back on the 10th, so we're talking about the 11th. Wouldn't it be cool if every time you submit a MetaZoo card to PSA, you got a MetaZoo and PSA promo card? That would be interesting. Coming soon. Cheese. Okay. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. This is from Rose Quilla. Hope everyone is having a good day so far. As some of you may have noticed, there is a cola bland dash join channel if you press let's go to connect your wallet and you have a metazoo token nft you will get access to the private nft chat room that was talked about yesterday interesting walmart put in another order for wilderness just a day after we hit their shells with <laughs> cryptid nation 2 metazoo community is amazing that is honestly really amazing that there another order for wilderness so that implies that there's at least two wilderness orders and considering that no i haven't even seen anybody i know actually get cryptid nation 2 out of walmart yet that really gives hope that this is really going to beef up the metazoo community with a lot of new influx of new players so great news for the game uh so in today and this is the 13th what what you know about uh, what do you know about drop bears this ambassador card along with many others will make their way to local game stores around the world in march and april <laughs> i love the drop bear it just cracks me up beastie bears so this is a wilderness obviously here four per spell book flipped if this beastie is touching an attacking beastie inflict that beastie with can't even make out that symbol but drop bite for 20 damage if this beastie was placed on a primary defender this turn destroy that beastie and the flavor text unknowing tourists often confuse the drop bear for the simple species of koala but when these beasties fall out of trees be on the lookout for a strong bite from above and you see how they have like the world MetaZoo logo here, and that's really interesting. That looks like they actually marked that on Australia uh, and turned the globe here for most of the Pacific. I'm assuming that's New Zealand and that's Antarctica. Best guess. Really cool. Six out of ten. So I'm really, really curious about this. This looks a lot, a lot of fun. Nine, date of birth, 1900s out of Australia. Uh, neat art on that and yeah i've had family over in uh in australia and they they, they love talking to 
uh, travelers from out of out of the country who go to Australia. This is pre COVID, by the way, who who they always talk about be aware of the drop bears. You know, when you always have to go and cover your head when you're walking down the street because you never know when a drop bear is going to come off the, one of the trees and. You know, and when when we had our exchange student when I was a kid, they'd uh, they make they uh, they tell us these stories as if it were real, and then we'd be like, really? And then they just couldn't hold in their laughter. It was just absolutely hilarious. So, <laughs> lots of good fun there. And the final post of the day this Sunday's MZU, which we just talked about before, up a little bit earlier, was every Sunday will be postponed due to Arnau being out. We'll resume again next Sunday with some brand new MZOs. So let's go over to socials and see what we may have missed. I'm not expecting much. It seems like it was a pretty slow news week. And there we go. Yep, that was a pretty quiet week for my Disney News. So I've, I've gone back and found the AMA that Mike did for this last Wednesday on the 9th, as we saw on the news channel. And I'm going to do my best to kind of run through what I can find. This part of the video might be a little chomped up, and especially because I can't control what people are saying in here. So I might have to do more editing to get, you know, naughty words and things of that sort out. But I'll go through and we'll try and highlight everything we can for these. So updates on any updates on stretch goals for the Kickstarter vote. And this I'm, this is going to be the second Kickstarter with the U.S. playing cards. He says votes are still coming in. When will there be another tops drop? Uh, first half of March for tops wilderness. So that's really really exciting. I know you guys saw the video where I opened for for New Year's where I opened up the tops box that we got one of the two. And oh my goodness, I absolutely love those cards. I am going to buy so many more for uh, Wilderness because the, the card quality is just exactly what you you hoped for. And I, I'm, I'm hoping I made that absolutely abundantly clear <laughs> on, on that video. And even like a month and a half later... I still absolutely love those cards. They're my, probably, honestly, my favorite thing out of MetaZoo so far. Which, for non-playable cards, is saying something. That's how blown away I was. Wilderness Binders coming. Yes, they are coming. Mike, what do you feel other TCGs can take away from your growth strategy? What are you doing that others are not? And he says, check out our new Kickstarter, and that will be your answer. Yo, Mike, hope you're well, brother. I was just curious how you felt about some cards depicting beasties, absolutely. And I can't emphasize this next part enough. Yamming on some basketball? I'm not sure. And he says, sounds like a cool tops product. I'm not sure where that one came from. Here, yamming on some basketball hoops. Interesting. Will Van Meter Visitor be in UFO? Yes. Any update on the Genesis roadmap? Very soon. Hey, Mike, did you decide already on the size of the artist print ads add-ons for the 1 and 2.0? Still figuring this out. Are we allowed to DM artists like Poncho, for example, to send them cards to be signed? Personalized, of course, so they cannot be resold, or are they only allowed to sign for events? And he says, you can do what you want, but they decide what they will do. So that's good to know. There's no, doesn't sound like there's a, uh, any kind of contract stating they can't do that. So that's honestly really good to know. Uh, I hear creepy pastas will get a side set, but any plans on collabing with SCP? <laughs> Would be dope. I... Honestly, I'm not positive on what all that means yet. <laughs> so hopefully more information to come. Any updates on the scavenger hunt? Printers are back online tonight. And that was, of course, back on the 9th. Shipping adjust on single deck Kickstarter? No can do. So essentially what that means is if you put the wrong address on your Kickstarter, 
there's not much they can do because that's going to be going through the Kickstarter site. So be very careful. Re just be really careful. So Super Bowl is tonight and it is starting in half hour from when this video is being recorded. Los Angeles Rams or Cincinnati Bengals and he's going for the Bengals. I've no care. <laughs> I don't even know how to, I don't even know a better way to say it. I just I don't care. Um that was not to say in other ones past I wouldn't have cared. I just I don't care about either team as far as who wins or not, so <laughs> that, that's okay. Likelihood of a Metazoo Funko drop. One hundred percent. So if you wanted you like the Funkos, which I have, we have a couple, um, I'm not sure if they're visible on my, uh, behind me at all, but, um, I do have a few, and MetaZoo Funko are coming, so that looks fun. Print run on the Valentines, which are these things, is 25,000, so a very nice limited print run. Even though for a product like that, that's still fairly large. Um, that's th those will be hard to come by as as time goes on. So if if you have some, hold on to them, open some and enjoy them. But if you have some and want to have value later, definitely put them into a closet somewhere for a year or two. Forget about them. Go back to them, and they might are probably going to be worth more. Not a guarantee, but probably. I want to work for you. How can I apply? I'm great with IT things. Reach out to hr at metazoogames.com. So that would go for you guys as well. If there, if you want a job with Metazoo Games, and submit your resume to HR. This seems like he's actively saying, send it here. Reach out to them and maybe start up a conversation. Best way to do that. Um... Uh, friend Louie for Kitchen Table TCG. He and I are in a few other exclusive groups together. And he's asking, will TCG player be updating card images for second edition? That obviously will come up here at some point. Tolerian Community College video updates for MetaZoo. He works at his own pace. Now, here he is. And that's up to them, whether TCG. So, and that's kind of how I would have expected. Um, TCG player tends to do things on their own. So... Um, hey, my question about the future of holiday promos. Is there any plan on having card effects, Terras, that will change the month so certain holiday cards will be useful outside of the true month? And he's uh, punting that to Kevin C. So we'll keep an eye out to see if that comes up. Mothman plushie from the Boogeyman artwork. When? Check under your bed. <laughs> Any national park partnerships for wilderness? Announcements coming soon. Interesting. So actually going to with the National Park Service and with MetaZoo, that would I've never heard of a card game partnering with anybody like that. So that could be a lot of fun. Mike, thank you for answering my last question. Now I have to ask, will there be a specific religious themed set with peeps from all religions? Sounds like a minefield, and yes, I can imagine there's no way to do a religious theme set without offending somebody. <laughs> uh, whether it's because of inclusion, exclusion, obviously some religions don't even want you to depict their, their figures, and others uh, want you to depict them, and others don't care, and... It, there's, I mean, it, as a Christian myself, it, it it would be probably okay for me, especially because I know I don't get my theology from a card game. But I also understand a lot of people have a hard time with seeing those type of things. So I would absolutely agree with Mike here. That sounds like an absolute minefield. That would, you're, there is liter, there are a few no-win situations and things like that, and that is absolutely one of them. In a TCG meant for everybody, and don't mix it in with your main product. I'd honestly create a separate religious-themed product that might do something like that, as opposed to making its own set. 
Yeah, I understand. And unfortunately, that's just kind of the unfortunate reality of the world we live in today. Personally, I would love to see it, but that's not really, doesn't really seem too much like what MetaZoo is going for. And yeah, <laughs> so I'm just going to stop there and it sounds like so are they. <laughs> we'll collect a con we'll collect a con plushies be limited on how many you can buy i'm worried people in front of me will buy them all and he says yes there will be a limit so interesting will the us pcc uncut sheets be hollow we are seeing if we can add these on add these as an add-on will metazoo ever collaborate with the likes of babytron or kanye west Ye? I'm assuming that's yes. So, I know some of you will be interested in that. Hey Mike, question about the future of holiday promos. Is there any plan on having card effects terrors that will... Oh, so there it is. Here's Kevin C. responding to that one. We're open to the possibility of pages that change time. So very interesting. Though they are, and they already have essentially terror that kind of vaguely does that. So having pages that would also affect that is also a interesting thing. You could even make Terra that have a specific that are essentially a specific month to get around some of those things too. So, but even having a page that lets you change that as I know there's not really the concept. I know enchantments the way Magic does them aren't a concept yet in MetaZoo, but that seems like that could be a way of expanding the game. I don't know. Will you sign booster boxes? Sure thing. And of course, as far as I'm aware, you ha do have to have one of the, the, the coins in order to get him to sign anything anymore. The days of him not doing that are long over, at least to my knowledge. Will the playing cards be available as a standard product? And are the promos Kickstarter exclusive or will they also be available as a separate product? No plans for this right now. So currently, the only way to get the playing cards is through the Kickstarter. So be aware. Will there be a Nightfall 2nd Edition? Just special big box products. No booster boxes or other 1st Edition product. So interesting. Will there ever be a mashup of some kind with like Pokemon, Magic, etc. on the cards? And Mike says, MetaZoo is its own beastie. And honestly, I can I get that the the likelihood of of Pokemon or Wizards of the Coast wanting to go and, and partner with a competitor is unlikely. Even though you know, Wizards has done that with Magic with other properties, like um, like they've done with in their Secret Layers and D and D, which they, of course Wizards also owns. Um, they did a Harry Potter themed set, though I don't think they got the licenses for it. That's why Strixhaven became what it was. And Godzilla, Walking Dead, kind of show that they are willing to do those kinds of things. But again, nothing I have seen, and they've done my little pony too, nothing I've seen does them with a competitor. Even though... My Little Pony, they did for special fundraising stuff, and I don't think that was with the card game, that was with the media, so that's kind of the gray area, but it wasn't with the car, the makers of the card game, which is Interplay for My Little Pony. So, I would be, while it would kind of be really cool, especially to have, you know, ugly Pokemon partner with Pokemon, I, I can see lots of fun there, it is un very unlikely you'd really have to get these giant corporations to work with a smaller company like MetaZoo to even have a possibility of that happening. And I just don't see that. That's a good, good question. Chinese New Year calendar promos would be cool. 12 promos spread over 12 years to collect. Sounds like a cool promo idea for next year. How long will CryptoNation 2 be sold at Walmart? These boxes will be the only Crypto Nation 2 products at Walmart. So, I've yet to see what the order size is on that though. So, hopefully, so I don't expect them to actually be around long at Walmart. 
I got a deal on a Nightfall box on January 14th, and the seller still hasn't shipped it. I hope they're okay, and I also hope I eventually get my box. <laughs> cool. So here he's following up. So basically, once Crypto Nation 2 is gone, that's it for the Walmart stuff. Yep, already working on the Wilderness box. So here, Craig, Chaos Crystal Enthusiast is giving some information to, on uh, several, several comments. Mike, can you give us clarity on the blue ink count? No. Print run on blue ink? What? Who? Hmm? Uh? So all about, you know, print runs on blue inks. They're not talking about it. And if, if, if you weren't clear on that before, we don't know. They're not talking. <laughs> but what the wilderness NFTs look like? Big. That's cryptic. Box toppers and wilderness pens and bo booster boxes? eBay box will have wilderness box toppers. Interesting. Have you found the fabled Walmart MetaZoo hangers yourself? No Walmarts in New York City. So let's see where he's at is in New York City. Interesting. What sets are coming out after UFO? Seance. Interesting. I hadn't heard of the next set after that. So very curious to see anything else on Seance. Are eBay wilderness boxes USA only? Up to eBay. So that is interesting though. So if it's up to eBay, that means MetaZoo themselves are not geo-limiting the, the resale or the distribution of those boxes. That's honestly kind of cool. Any chance a card catalog that has sorting and filtering would be nice. Could be on the MetaZoo website. We have some amazing fan ones. So that sounds like they're not doing that for them anymore. So they they used to have one. They used to have a, a big one, and it was honestly just a list, <laughs> like a giant scans. And I know places like Crystal Commerce refuse to even go on there and deal with it, which is part of why I don't have anything up on my website. Um, for most of Mendezu, I've had to implement those things on my own, and part of why we're leaving. So. It would be really great to see some of these other websites that might have some. I need to maybe I'll if I maybe I'll find some and let you guys know so you guys can go 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 look to them. Did you reveal all the USPCC and MetaZoo TCG promo cards, or do we have some treats in store? Treats. Mike, will you be at the Orlando Collecticon? Yep. So it gets good to know. So if you're going to Collecticon in Orlando you will get a chance to meet Mike Waddell. Very excited for you guys who are going to get to go. Obviously, you're working on Wilderness, but are there already plans to have a twist with UFO with products? Playmat can second as a twister mat. If that's true, that's hilarious. <laughs> How long do you plan to work on MetaZoo? What age do you see yourself retiring? 65. Why are shipping prices so scuffed to the UK? I've got three Valentine's Day boxes are 18 pounds in shipping, but two boxes and a comic are 29? It's automatically calculated by Shopify. So I guess ask DHL, FedEx, etc. And I will say, shipping prices through the MetaZoo website are kind of crazy. And I, so I completely agree. And that's even just from US to US. And yeah, I think they honestly they can they could fix some of their shopping, their Shopify stuff. They could fix some of their 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 shipping rates and the calculations for them if they truly wanted to. But and that's but you know that's their site. That's okay. I'm not going to criticize them too heavily for that. I will say though, with with these, we ordered these last Monday. We got these on Saturday. This is the absolute fastest MetaZoo has ever shipped us anything since they began. So kudos, MetaZoo. It was, honestly, considering how how our Halloween promos didn't get here until, get to us until Thanksgiving, and our Christmas stuff didn't get here until almost Christmas, I was shocked. And it got I mean, the Christmas stuff got to us too late to even wrap it with anything because I was already done by then. But I was absolutely shocked that these got here before Valentine's Day. 
amazing job that you guys have come a long way keep it up I just I say that because I will be critical where it's appropriate to be critical but I will also give you praises good job will nightfall second edition come to Walmart fall so what that tells me is that even though we have these hangers for the what, what someone else had called hangers but essentially the products the boxes from Crypt Nation Second Edition that are currently in Walmarts, if you can manage to find any. Which you'd expect me being here in Arkansas, right next to Bentonville, which is where Walmart HQ is, that we would have more? I don't know. Anyway, and then Wilderness is going to come out, you know, at the end of March, and then they're also going to have the product in Walmarts for March. That... Nightfall is obviously going to be scheduled to come out probably near Halloween again, considering it's a very Halloween set, right? And that's neat that they're actually having a second edition, because this is the first I've heard of that. So I think that's absolutely fantastic, and I can't wait to see it. Hopefully, again, your card quality is better on second edition than it was with first edition Nightfall, because honestly, if you had a buyback program or a free turn program like Wizards does on when they have garbage cards I would probably send 90% of everything back it was I mean that's it wasn't quite that bad but literally I had when we were separating our cards for um, these nightfall openings that we did that you guys saw on camera I was separating them into from near mint to everything else over one third of everything I opened went into the other and most of those are going to be in their damaged and I'm I'm just beside myself on that, which is why I'm, that video is coming out soon. I digress. Mike, excited about anything in particular? Florida Collecticon. So the Collecticon stamped wilderness spoilers and spoiler packs and very few actual wilderness handed out for free. So they're not actually handing out much wilderness this time, so you're going to actually have to buy things. That's unfortunate. How many of the 2,305 NFTs were redeemed for the Valentine's Day boxes? About 1,200. How many CryptoNation 2 boosters were converted to Walmart hangers? <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. With so many new items coming out as of late, do you plan to curb back releases at any point to combat purchase fatigue? No, more releases, more products. And that's honestly risky. Because... Think about what's going on, and the reason I say that, think about what's going on in the Magic world, with Magic the Gathering. There, like, so the last few sets, um, d and so are Adventures in the Forgotten Realm, uh, Innistrad, Midnight Hunt, Innistrad, Crimson Vow, and, and it's all culminated with double feature, right? Those have seen decreasing sales. The especially around collector's boosters, like people just are not buying collector's boosters for those sets, and to the point that Rudy on of Alpha Investments has actually made mention that he is not making Crimson Vow available to his patrons to buy because he doesn't want to go into it because no one is buying. And honestly, we've opened up a ton, we still have a ton left, and on the card quality is not there, I don't like the card quality. The sets don't, especially especially the two Innistrad sets, do not work well together. And then you have a, fe uh, a double feature, which is supposed to be a way to draft the two Innistrad sets together. Are just the two sets 100% together except for the full art lands? And they didn't even do black and white pictures. They just de decolored them, desaturated them. That's not the way to do that. So, yeah... You, and then especially with, and then on top of all of that, products that nobody, that people have been getting more and more fatigued about. Because especially, remember, in Magic, in the world of Magic, you have draft boosters, you have set boosters, collector's boosters. And then you have theme packs, you have uh, bundles, you have the commanders, you have all of these different types of products, and then you have secret layer on top of all of it. 
And then you have extra scents like, um, and I'm really excited for this one, but Infinity coming out, which doesn't play with anything. But now they're changing the roles of Silver Borders too, which is honestly really frustrating. And it's they're 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 making so much product that no one can keep up. Like I'm, I know a whole bunch of wealthy people. And they're getting fatigue as well. They're still buying it, but they're just, they're not excited anymore. And honestly, go and look at current prices on, for, for some of the latest sets on Magic. The non-foil version of cards are more expensive than the foil version. That's honestly messed up. And it just shows how product fatigue people are. So I really appreciate MetaZoo. They're still in this really great um trajectory but they need to be careful because you can have product fatigue especially for a brand new small game uh where you're just not everywhere yet and when you have all the supply problems metazoo has had this entire time it's to me it's a warning sign and i'm not saying that metazoo is doomed or anything like that because i think it's a fantastic game i think it has a bright future but you also don't want to overexpose themselves too quickly. So hopefully they are being managed properly. Hopefully they have the right people t t saying the right things at the right times to kind of say, well, hold on, let's take a step back. Or no, this is the right time to go through and do this. You don't want to, you don't want to put your eye on the world and say, okay, I want to do everything all at once only for nothing to be able to get done because you went too far too fast. So I do appreciate the statement, but um, as this is, purchase fatigue, wallet fatigue is a real thing. And I feel like a lot of the producers of this type of content or these, these products don't always live in the world that we would live in where they don't understand how much product is coming at them. They only understand the product that they're putting out. But then there's people like us, right? Who, MetaZoo is probably not the only game you're interested in, right? It would be really, you would you would probably be the unicorn of, of card games if you were only interested in one. Now, I know there are some very fanatical people who are only interested in magic, only interested in flesh and blood, only interested in, like, and they don't understand that people can be fans of others. But most common people are fans of multiple games. Like, Sheena and I, we play six or seven different card games. It is extraordinarily difficult to keep up. And when more and more and more and more and more becomes even more, even more, even more, you get purchase fatigue. You get wallet fatigue. In inflation is a nasty thing right now. So cautionary to say be just pleading for caution. <laughs> All right, off my soapbox. What are you looking forward to the most this year for MetaZoo and satellite? So would that be UFO, I'm assuming? Do you foresee another Kickstarter in the future? Every year is the plan. So interested to see what the next next year's Kickstarter is going to be. Is this so? If they don't, does that mean one a year, multiple a year, every six months? So far, they've only done they did what twenty twenties and then this year's. So be interested to see. Twelve hundred claimed or real orders most relevant for the NFT raffle. I hope real orders behind the claim. So he's not sure what this means, but that would go back to the 1,200 that were redeemed for the Valentines. So he obviously, Mike obviously didn't get the, the connection there, which I understand because, I mean, the way chats work, that's way up there. <laughs> so what are you guys going to be doing to balance the decks more so blue isn't so dominant? And do you have any plans to release even more different types of cards? You see, so also I'm new, so any tips for the game? <laughs> Play more. Well, yeah, that's kind of a frustrating answer, and I get that. MetaZoo and Tamagotchi would be pretty cool. Official release of Wilderness is March 31st. Yep. So I know they were initially, you may have seen March 
uh, 1st or March 9th, I think I've even seen the first week of March. That's no longer the case because I've heard a lot of shipping issues and whatnot. It's actually the end of March, March 31st. So if you were unsure before, I've heard different dates. Here you have it straight from Mike. March 31st is when Wilderness releases. Pre-orders are probably going to... You've probably seen some up now. I have seen some people getting... Uh, allocation so they're starting to put theirs up as well so be aware pre-orders are actually starting metazoo and mba ever considered for tops when will metazoo be going public 2023 so interesting that they actually do have plans on becoming a public company so that would be an ipo to really keep your eyes open for when it when it comes just you know you're we're still over a year away so keep your eyes open maybe start thinking about preparing if you want to partake in that will we get a wilderness binder on the release date of the set to match the other binders trying to get it as close as possible mike will be sending cards to the collecticon sparingly a while ago, you said for content creators to reach out to Chad Tronic to apply for some sort of content creator program. I emailed him probably two or three weeks ago and haven't heard back. And his Discord DMs are closed. Is there any other step I should take to reach out to email again, or should I just wait? Keep emailing. He's a busy guy. I don't know anything about that. So, interesting. If you know anything about what he's... what um this Chadtronic thing is, uh, send us a message because I'm curious as to what that is. There was a, there was a medal that we could get as content creators, but I've never heard of any other content creator program. Mike, today can you give us one of those sneak peeks that you delete within one second? <laughs> And he calls Crystal Chaos Crystal Enthusiast for that. Will there be NFT holder benefits at Collecticon Orlando? Still working on that. Will the professor's video release between now and Wilderness? I have no idea. Completely up to the professor. Will distribution offer Wilderness pins to retailers for Wilderness? We will make an announcement about this soon. Will there be more MetaZoo NFTs in the future? Yes. GameStop, assuming are these going to be sold, Metazoo going to be sold in GameStop, working on it. <laughs> Does opening Metazoo count as a date? My wife disagrees. <laughs> Find new wife. Or, you know, well, that's part of why I found my wife. At, we do that <laughs> together, so obviously I chose well. <laughs> Work with nonprofit organizations to help with needs constantly. Any criticism that bothers you a lot or the most about MetaZoo? He says, criticism doesn't bother me. It's how it's delivered that we often don't tolerate. And I can completely agree with that. When you come off as angry or irate or cursing, you're not going to get the reaction you're wanting unless it's to make somebody upset or not even or not listen to you. The best way to get somebody to not listen to you and not care what you have to say is to constantly berate them, talk down to them, uh, be mean-spirited, uh, not have their best interests at heart. Uh, use foul language. Because honestly, the minute you start using foul language, I don't listen to you. And th there's so many other ways. So you can be critical, but be constructive in it. You know, especially as I'm hoping that what Medizu has seen and what you guys have seen by watching our videos, when we are critical, we also try to be very fair. We don't come across as angry. We come across as stating our concerns, our desires, our thoughts, and uh, honestly put it on put it on them and say, hey, this, this is what we're feeling. This is what we're thinking. These are the things that we've seen. Do with it what you will. Uh, but we don't ever try to come off as, as angry or or mean or mean-spirited or name-calling things of that nature criticism for the benefit of making someone better at what or making something better 
should never be derided, should never be shunned. And that's kind of what he's, what Mike here is saying, that he's doesn't, you know, he doesn't say that they're open to criticism, but he does say that it doesn't bother him. And at the very least, that's, that's good to hear. So my, my, it then also kind of makes, and we know a lot of people, a lot of you are here because of things that happened on Discord. I know some of you may, may not know why you're kicked off of their Discord, why you may not have, or maybe you do know why you're kicked off of Discord. I have honestly no idea. It doesn't matter as much. I'm glad you're here and that you are part of our community. Um, and just know, just know that the way you present yourself matters. The way you talk to somebody matters, especially when you're being critical of something that they have done, they have produced, they have created, whether it's an individual or an organization. You're not going to get them to listen to you if you are nasty to them. You may, it's not a guarantee, but you may get them to listen to you or even hear you if you, if you present it in a calm, clear, compassionate way that is not like you see all these other people doing where you're just screaming and screaming and screaming. And all you do is turn people off to what you have to say. And if anything, the message that you're stating becomes almost like feel to not do it, not do what you're after, not do the change that you're after, because the vitriol that you're espousing is so potent that it completely turns us off to whatever it is you're wanting us to do. So I can state, I can state that from my own experiences. So when you're being critical, just be aware of how you're presenting it. And so, and again, MetaZoo, I hope that you've, that we've never been too harsh with you, that our criticism has been fair and appropriate. And if we have been, we apologize. We're not trying to be super unfair with our, with our, with our criticism. Um, but we are trying to be honest and honestly, <laughs> double honest there, but but truthfully, that is the best you can do is to be fair and honest. And that will get you a long way in this world, especially in conversing with others. How do we stop, <laughs> how do we stop scalpers? Cause I can't find any product. Literally check out website. <laughs> so yes, there are, I find that honestly, I find the can't find any product. That's a bit disingenuous. You can go, there are so many websites that have product, even if you're not after, depending on what you're after. If you're after second edition, a lot of places still have second edition on their own websites. Now, whether it's all in stores or not, MetaZoo is not a large game yet. It's not everywhere. Being in Walmart is going to get them towards that goal. But how do you stop scalpers because you can't find product? Well. I, I really hate the term scalpers. That's not a lot of times that's not what's what's going on. But if you're after the second edition, then I mean you have eBay, you have TCG Player, you have Channel Fireball, uh, among other places to get to get product. Uh, you have an or like he said their website. Now again their website you're bypassing you're bypassing store um, LGSs. And I highly recommend you first go to a local game store. They're the ones who are going to support you. Walmart's not going to support you in your love of your game. MetaZoo themselves is not going to be the one on the ground supporting you in the love of your game. It's the LGS. MetaZoo sells to the distributors. The distributors sell to the local game stores. The local game stores are the ones who are going to be selling the product, talking to you, and running the events they're the ones you want to support they're the ones on the ground doing all the dirty work go to them first and then if you can't find anything anywhere and i find that very hard to believe and it's why i think i find the initial comment that you can't find any product somewhat disingenuous if just on its surface is that you have places to find this product it might just be a knowledge thing you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with ignorance, but the cure for ignorance is knowledge. 
is not to claim scalpers are evil. It's to find out the ways to get this product. And which is why he says literally check out the website because they don't solicit second party, third party, other sites. They solicit themselves, completely understand it, get, get it from their perspective, but just check your local game stores first and then check their websites and other local game store websites first, then go <laughs> and to their website would be the way I would suggest. Will the $250,000 tournament have qualifiers or is it going to be open registration? You need to have participated in sanctioned events ahead of that. Sanction, so here's a clarification, sanctioned MPM, MPN events, which is Mezu Play Network, or any previously sanctioned. And here he says MPN events. So that's going to be difficult considering MPN is so new, but hopefully your local game store is getting on that bandwagon. And so here, this is uh, this one. How far away are we from a crazy full art shooting star etched foil VMAX in the main line sets? We'd love to see a full art Mothman or headless coal miner. How rare, more rare than a gold, but less rare than an ink. And he says, ew, no crazy hollow like that. I like the vintage look and I want hollows to remain special. So that's good. Wanting hollows to remain special is, is definitely something to... I mean, right now, hollows aren't super, super special because they're in everything, but having them completely randomized in their packs keeps the certain cards definitely more special than others because it's literally opening a completely randomized pack. You never know what you're going to get in it, and that's fantastic. And the fact that there was even god packs in Nightfall was pretty cool, too. Any cooperations with card market planned? If they are interested, I'm not sure what card market is. Be interested to know more. NFT pre-sale with for wilderness boosters. Yes, with sticker. I hope that's better than just the little blue sticker they had for second edition on the plastic of the box. I, I felt that was personally a little disingenuous as something super special maybe under the foil wrapping would have been better I, I don't know I don't I don't really know what I would want out of that I just know that when I saw that it was kind of meh I like the nft but just the little blue sticker on the outside of the wrapper meh <laughs> that was my reaction anyway so <laughs> each their own though can we get more stores to carry product and have sanctioned tournament in Las Vegas? Mezu products are drier than the desert out here. He says, that's up to you. Reach out and convince them to hold us. Are bear bricks still in the works? Yep. I don't know what bear bricks are, but they're in the works. <laughs> Sounds kind of something else to me. I wish the Mezu Play Network didn't have so many issues right now. Okay. Be interested to know what those issues were. So hopefully we'll have more uh, information on that. One point of constructive criticism I would like to state is about the Walmart boxes. I think putting chase poles in them could deter the original use of them. Get it in more hands slash new hands because of the box toppers in them. They are being more sought after by scalpers and flippers than any new players. I think that could hurt its intentions. Just my two cents on them that I am seeing. And here, Mike says, had no idea they were putting box toppers in them. So, interesting. And again, we haven't opened one yet. And the box doesn't stink that there's a box topper in it that I've seen. What does the Walmart box print run? One billion? One, one billion? I... One billion? No. No. I don't think that's a billion. That would blow the price out of anything. That would be an overabundance of supply for a billion cards. Even a wizard's drop doesn't do that. And they're ubiquitous everywhere. Yeah, I I, th I think he's I don't I don't I don't actually trust that number. <laughs> I think he's being snarky. Any chance we will get an expanded chibi set in the future? Twelve just isn't enough for me. Also need a squonk chibi ASAP. Full Chibi mini set coming next year. Ooh, interesting. When is the scavenger hunt? Very soon. 
I like how he completely opts out. Star Trek or Star Wars? Stargate. I like it. Babylon Five for me too. So you know, now I like both. I like all all those franchises, but Babylon Five is my favorite. So, and here we go. The end was twelve twenty four. Okay, that thanks everyone. Good session today. So let us know what you thought. Did you enjoy having us having me go over the AMA with you um, that Mike does? Um, looks like he does at least one a week. Sometimes more often. I can go over those afterwards. Um, I'm not sure how how feasible it will be to do a live stream with that yet, especially because they happen during my workday. Maybe Sheena can do that at some point, depending on when, because she's very busy depending on what day it is. Like, this was on Wednesday, and she would honestly have been in meetings this entire time, too. So, likely they'll be after-the-fact type things. Would you like those to be a separate video? Do you want those to be part of these Discord weekly update videos? Let us know in the comments. Uh, because this was such a longer video, I won't do a market update today. Um, may do those. May, may start doing those. Do you even like the market videos, honestly? Do you like me going over the market the market updates the way I do them? Would you like a different format? Would you like something like the way Louie at Kitchen Table TCG does, where I actually go through each individual card looking for mass changes, keeping updated on the, on the sale prices, things like a TCG player, um, or do you like it the way I do it, where I go through TCG Player, the boxes, and uh, the Channel Fireball and eBay, and just kind of looking at the big boxes and whatnot. Do you like that, or would you want more of an individual card basis, or do you want some type of in-between? Please let me know in the comments below. Also, I received this in the mail yesterday. Uh, I don't know who it's from. It's from somebody in Iowa. It's a Love Struck Beast addressed to me, which honestly very surprises me. I want to tell you thank you, whoever it was. I appreciate it. Uh, I, I absolutely love you guys. Uh, this is a fantastic thing that I do coming on here and talking to you guys, coming on here and just having fun with reading the news and finding out more about MetaZoo and getting to play and just helping to... And, and Sheena and I working towards us having a new game store we can't wait to be able to, to to get that up and running and we're starting to look at do we want to do a loan or do we want to keep going the naturally because so far we've been doing the the more natural we buy a little bit we sell we take that money and we sell again we buy and sell we buy and sell we buy and sell trying to get up to a point where we can actually start buying cases and we're about at that point now we buy cases at a time and resell and then turn that into more and more and more. It's just a matter of being smart about it. And that's honestly the very long way to do it, but it also means no creditors, right? And we're very we're already a very cash-based family. So because we don't like debt. So it's honestly it works for us, but we're honestly talking about doing that to help try and accelerate to actually try and open up a game store sooner. Because especially in the down market that we're in, it's making things harder and it's also complicating things right now the way the, the market is and um, everything else. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. We um, really appreciate you guys and can't wait. We have more. We have box opening coming this week. We have uh, the next box opening will be tomorrow on Valentine's Day with our MetaZoo box. And then we're going to have Flesh and Blood, we have Card Fight coming up, and then more MetaZoo, of course, as well. So have an absolutely wonderful week, and for everyone out there, happy Valentine's Day tomorrow. Be blessed. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Be blessed.